the heroes had discovered that Isabel was indeed Rosabel's sister. The journey back to Rosabel's house took the trio down the side of a mountain and through the perilous haunted forests. Now their progress was made swifter, for it seemed as if the whole forest had come alive to help them get back safely. Hoping to catch Rosabel off guard, they made their way to a balcony high atop the petrified tree. What's hurting it? Aim for the earrings! <laughs> My warmest regards. Well done! Now, finish the rest of them! Stolen her powers. Tremble in fear. With these peasants, death is not overdue. sleeping princess began to untangle and withdraw. What, what is happening? Am I alive? Rosie! The amazed heroes saw Rosabel fall down into the underground lake. 
Isabel dived after the sinking shadow of Rosabel. After a moment, Isabel returned carrying her sister. Thank you for freeing me, heroes. Pleased to meet you, Lady Princess. If only the circumstances could be more cheerful. Rosie, she was always very stubborn. Can we get you anything? A towel? I, I just want to go home. I'm afraid your castle lies in ruins. Not to mention you've some grave issues with your plumbing. How are we going to get out of here? The portals are all gone now. Just then, the trine appeared and shed its golden light around the cavern. The light grew warmer and brighter, wrapping everyone with an invisible blanket of comfort and safety. The cavernous tunnel vanished from their sight. The trine brought our heroes back to the very forest where the wizard and the knight had met at the beginning of the journey. We did what we set out to do. Our kingdom is safe and the forest has turned back to normal. How did we do that? It was Isabel's magic that affected the forest. Now that she's free, the balance has been restored. No! I forgot to bring that magic water with me for the potatoes. Here, I have a whole skin full of magic water. Zoya, you're a decent sort after all. It'll cost you five gold. What? You already got a crown today? <laughs> the three heroes spent the night talking of the great adventure before they headed back home. Ah, oh, such a nice ending. So the princess and the pumpkins had been rescued. Cool and the great game, adventure drew to a close. You wish we've got a surprise. Uh ho, uh ho, goblins are afoot. On a dark and fateful night, sinister figures stirred in the woods surrounding Amadeus's cottage. Oh, poor wizard. No sign of that thrice darned husband anywhere. Oh. It's not teleporting. <laughs> can't do anything. Like summon a crate. Those no good heroes won't mess up our plans this time. 